What's going on people, Guns Blazing back at it again, and this time we have a level 40 crow farming deck. This is the most requested so far, and I have a couple of decks for it. First one you're gonna see is a hazy deck, very free to play friendly, decent consistency, and requires a little more attention to detail. Second one's more expensive, but a lot more consistent, but we'll talk about that later. So as you can see, I set an Exarion and it managed to survive. Um, he can hold it down against all of his uh, low level monsters, but if he synchros early, you might be in trouble. Now very early into the duel, I'm gonna pump up my Cerberus and start fighting for control of the board. This is a very different playstyle from your usual farming decks. But by doing this, you limit his chances of getting a synchro summon off, which is his biggest threat. And the reason we're using Hazy's is because he has traps and synchro monster effects that can screw you over. But thankfully, Hazy's cannot be targeted by card effects. So 2800 is a magic number here. It ties with his highest attack synchro monster, and so he's discouraged from suiciding into me. I know I'm not getting extra attacks in by using my Beast Rising in the battle phase instead, but honestly, that's not going to matter too much. What matters is that we've reached this board state where he pretty much can't do anything. He can't attack over this Siberius, nor can he target it with any of his effects. But here's the thing, we really want Sphinx on the board to be buffed up. Cerberus was just a placeholder so that we could secure the board early game, so we're gonna start transferring over to Sphinx here. I would have pumped Sphinx up instead, but we didn't have her early game. The attack that was stacked on Cerberus doesn't restack back onto Sphinx, but that's okay. We're still gonna be able to get her over 10,000 because there's a lot of monsters in the deck. Side note, Dynatherium and Exarion Universe can all be used with Beast Rising, that's why I specifically chose them for this deck. And so that's all that I really wanted to explain in detail here at the start. Hopefully you understood the concept behind uh, getting control of the board as fast as you can. So these are just the basics. There's a couple more objectives that we have to complete here, which is I'm gonna do a ritual summon and a synchro summon in the same duel so that I can get all the way up to 8,000. But it's pretty straightforward, so I'm just gonna bring it back to the original stream audio. This is Future Guns Blazing, signing out. You know what? Let me get some synchro magic in here. Synchro Shoka! For literally no reason. And yeah, let's get some attacks in. Wait, is it gonna get 8,000? It might. Okay, I'm not. I'm not dropping this card right here. I need that. Synchro Shoken! I just like saying that, dude. No! My Stardust Dragon! You're evil! It's fine. The only reason I summon that is for the points. Ritual Shoken! Alright, let me just interject one more time and tell you about how this farm can fail or how it can go wrong so that you can have the clear expectations on this deck. One way you can get screwed over is that he synchros way too quickly and then he wins the board before you can set up with your Beast Rising. And the second way is that he uses one of his uh, one of his two traps that can destroy your Beast Rising before you set it up. If he uses the Shockwave trap on it, just chain it, assuming it's already armed, but the other one, you can't do anything about that. Now with that being said, he is one of the harder duelists to farm, so don't really expect any deck to be 99% consistent without being really slow or a little expensive. So all in all, I'm just saying this deck has decent consistency, but it's Crow Hogan, so do prepare to be screwed over a couple of times. This is obvious, but Aroma Strategy is necessary so you know exactly what you're milling with Hazy Flame Sphinx. If you find yourself forced to mill out a Ritual piece, do it, it's worth it. Same with Heated Heart, it's nice to have, but you can also just summon another monster and attack directly with your buffed <laughs> up Sphinx. Are you working? No, I didn't wait for long enough. Please be 8,000. Yes! How many glossy points? 500. Okay, so not bad. Not bad! What deck did you use for dealing 3000 effect damage for Crow? Uh. I think I just used the normal. My last gamble burn deck. You don't have to get that all in one duel, you know that, right? Thanks for the sub, Shovel Knight. Let me actually get my... No. I was gonna go Cerberus, but I think I'll just do this. Because I might need this Dynatherium. Bro, no! Are you gonna Synchro? 
You went with the synchro shotgun. It's actually such a tilter. Wait, I have Beast Rising though? Yeah, that's fine. I got Beast Rising, so I'm Gucci. Wait, no I'm not. Yeah, I might be okay. I'll just use the effect now. I'll just go in on him right now. This was kind of lucky, but... Sometimes that's all you need, baby. Drop monster cards. Yeah. Periton! Yeah, 99k. We are so close, dude. Will I be trying decks with Junk Synchron anytime soon? Yeah, I will. I will be. I indeed will. Okay, so there's not much to this farming deck. It's just... You get out uh, get out your Hazy, buff him up. He can't target it with his Synchros or his Traps. So that's really all you're trying to go for. He can be annoying in Icarus attack. That's That's actually a problem. But at the same time, there's more than one Beast Rising in the deck. So as long as you already have your Hazy buffed up, before he does that, you should be fine. Only other problem would be if he if he has that other trap that just destroys your back row, anti-reverse. But I don't think he popped in in time, so I'm just gonna chain this. He didn't pop in in my end phase. Okay, he's gonna Synchro out, but it doesn't matter. I do have a more consistent deck than this, but, uh, it's, it doesn't get 8,000 points. So that's why I just use this one for now. Go ahead and buff that up. This one should still get 8,000 points because of comeback victory, even though I took damage. Alright, I don't need the third beast rising anymore. Synchro Shuriken! I'll show you guys a Synchro Shuriken in a, in a second. Just uh, kill this stuff. No, I should have killed this guy first. Is that, is that what I should have done? Okay. No, I don't get to do my Synchro Shuriken! Oh wait, yeah I do. So the only reason for the Synchro in this deck again is to uh... Is to get the points. Guys, keep in mind that Periton can't be used for Beast Rising, so... Don't try that. But he can be used for Synchroing, so... That's what I'm gonna do. High Flying Castle. So just waiting a couple more turns, I still have to uh I still have to get my ritual summon off. Let's see. That's the last card, right? It is. So I'll just do this. Uh end my turn. Okay. Clean farm. Clean? Synthesis spell. That's the last piece. Beast of Shock! That doesn't make sense. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll just show you guys some a couple of farms while uh while the viewers still trickling, ooh, there's my Ghibli. While the viewers are still trickling in, I got another one for you, just in case, like, you don't like that one. It's not as consistent. Like, I got pretty lucky in those two farms, I'd say. He didn't give me that much of a hard time. 
If he sets his stuff before you get your stuff, you're going to have a hard time. So, yeah, this is my other deck. This one's only 7,000, but I think it's more consistent than the other one. Can we get PP picks instead of a face reveal? Sure. Why not? Okay, we're good. We're Gucci. That's all we needed. So... Ebola, Ebola this one. Let me turn character lines on. And I let the 2300 attack go through so I can pop my cyber. Style. You only need one card for this entire farm. Juraka Tatano! Tribute to Shoken! And there you go. That's it. That's the farm. He can't do anything at this point. Uh. I'm going to try attacking to stuff, see if that can get me 8,000. Because usually this gets only 7,000. Perhaps if I added a little more prismatics, like... Let's say I took out Crystal Seers or Decoichis. And just added some prismas, I could maybe get 8,000. And the reason I'm not setting my monsters yet is because he has a lot of piercing and he even has that monster that switches one of your monsters to attack mode. So once you get another Ebola, you can yeah, you can start setting your other cards. Advanced Shoken. <laughs> can advance Shoken all you want, my guy. No one's stopping you. Well, cards can be changed. Uh, pretty much all the all the flip draw cards can be changed. The bolas, I'd keep the bolas if you if you have them. Gillosaurus can be changed for tricky. It just needs to be something that you can special summon and add on to your uh, gift of the martyrs and your piranha on the last turn. This guy's not giving me that much trouble with his piercings. Is it the full combo? It's not the full combo yet. Let me just drop those. You'll ruin the mystery. It's not all about the mystery sometimes though. Okay, so I got a full hand of combo pieces. I'm not gonna set any though because if you set any of your combo pieces, he can he can screw you over. So just wait until the last turn. I know I stopped attacking, but whatever. Let's just do that now. Actually no, let's not do that. <laughs> you can't kill that anyways. Whatever. Will I use face cam after the face reveal? Maybe. If I feel like it. So here's the order. Hey, true nade first, always. Always. Then your Gillosaurus. So your Gillosaurus and your Piranha you can summon in either order. But make sure secret pass first. Onto the Piranha. Otherwise your Gift of the Martyrs. I'm gonna get Kakarinoed. And the reason we can't use Vassal is because, uh. Let me see if he has it out. No, it's not this one. Is it this one? No. Okay, so his his other Synchro Monster, it, act, it can actually prevent effect damage, which Vassal is. Like, it, ca it counts as a card activating to do effect damage to you, so he can prevent that. With his last synchro. Kind of a cuckarino, but what can you do about it? <laughs> 7,200. Yeah, so 
If you want consistent, something really easy, and you have uh, three Jirak Titanos, go for this one. To the fiery light. 